Layla Fernandez, From Childhood to Tennis Star, Biography. Layla Fernandez is a Canadian professional tennis player with the career high ranking of number 24 by the Women's Tennis Association. All the fans of tennis know Layla Fernandez, but do you know about her past life or her family? How has she achieved such great success? Well, let's find out. But before we start the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to know all about your favorite sports stars. And let's get started. Layla Fernandez was born in Montreal, Quebec. It's true that Canada is not really known as a land of tennis stars, but Layla has come forward as a trendsetter. She belongs to the sporting family of her father, George, who is from Ecuador and a former football player. And her mother, Irene, is a Filipino-Canadian citizen. She has a younger sister, Bianca Jolie, who is also also a tennis player, so we could say that it's in her genes. On January 25th, 2019, Fernandez entered the Australian Open Girls Singles Final, where she lost to the top-seeded Clara Tawson. Later, on June 8th, 2019, Fernandez defeated Emma Navarro in the French Open Girls Singles Final to become the first Canadian female winner of a junior Grand Slam title since the 2012 Wimbledon Championships. This victory put her on a path which led her to the 2021 US Open Final. Now let's talk about her professional debut which was the real game changer for her. On July 21, 2019, Fernandez won her first professional singles tennis title when she defeated a fellow Canadian, Carson Brand Twin, in the final of the Guntanau Challenger. Fernandez also won her first professional debut title of the same date when she teamed up with Rebecca Moreno of Vancouver. The pair defeated the second-seeded team of Marcela Zacharias of Mexico and Connie of Taiwan. Then, the following week, she made her second consecutive ITF final in Granby, where she lost to Lizette Cabrera of Australia. Fernandez made her Grand Slam debut at the Australian Open, but after qualifying, she lost in the first round to Lauren Davis. Then, she achieved the biggest win of her career the following week in the Billie Jean King Cup qualifying round against ranked number five in the world, Belinda Benjamin. In late February at the Mexican Open, she qualified and reached her first WTA tournament final, where after winning 12 sets in a row, she was defeated by world number 69, Heather Watson. A week later, she upset Grand Slam champion Sloane Steffen to reach the quarterfinals of the Monterey Open, but eventually she lost to champion Elena Svitolina. Fernandez began 2021 without any consecutive wins in her first four tournaments. But in March at the Monterey Open, she won her first four matches to reach the final, defeating Victoria Galuvis to win the first WTA title of her career. At 18 years old, she was the youngest player in the main drop and won without dropping a set during this tournament. At the US Open, Fernandez became a fan favorite player because of her unexpected success as an underdog. She defeated the third seed and defending champion Naomi Osaka in three sets in the third round. She then defeated the former world number one, Angelique Kerber in the fourth round in three sets. Fernandez also outclassed the fifth seed, Elena Svitolina, in the quarterfinals to reach her maiden major semifinal the very next day after her 19th birthday. Later, she defeated Ariana Sabalinka, the second seed, to reach her first major final, and in the process, she became the first player who was born in 2002 to reach the final. It was the third time in the Open era that a woman defeated three of the top five seats at the US Open. However, in the final, she lost to fellow teenager Emma Raducanu in straight sets, but she didn't leave the arena as a runner-up. She was a winner already, as she said, I think this loss, I'm good to carry it. For a very long time, Fernandez has told reporters after the match that, I think it will motivate me to do better in training, better for the next opportunity, I guess. And she also told reporters throughout the tournament that she's been knocked down before. She has experienced the adversity of being told that she was too small, too underpowered, and simply not good enough to achieve her dreams of becoming a professional tennis player. In all of the tournaments, Fernandez was adamant that her wins in progress have not surprised her. She has put too much work into her career to be surprised by her level. But the soft-spoken Canadian did admit to being surprised by one thing. That was how fun it was to engage with the New York crowd. During her poised and emotional on-court remarks, Fernandez asked for the mic back to take a moment to salute the city of New York on the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Looking ahead, Fernandez also said that her New York run will only increase her hunger for success. During an interview in April, she revealed that she was analyzing sporting icons such as Lionel Messi, Mike Tyson, Sidney Crosby, Wayne Gretzky, and Floyd Mayweather. It is an approach which is clearly working for the Montreal-born left-hander. While she is targeting further significant strides in the coming weeks and months, Layla is currently single, and 
she details her past or current relationships have been kept private and away from the limelight. It seems she is avoiding any sort of distraction and she is completely focused on her career. Along with that, she also spends her quality time with friends and family. Fernandez has earned a lot by playing tennis professionally and by participating in tournaments and according to sources, her net worth has been estimated at around $1 million. Some other sources of her income are from brand endorsements and attending various events. Sponsorships now let's talk about some of her sponsors. Essex. On the court, Fernandez wears Essex shoes and clothing. Since 2020, Fernandez has been associated with the Japanese sportswear company. Fernandez also promotes Essex on her social media networks as part of the deal. Babalot. The French racket and paddle manufacturer, Babalot, sponsors Fernandez's racket. The Lyon-based firm has been collaborating with this Canadian player ever since she began her professional career. Telcel and Claro. Mexican telecommunications from Americana Movi owned Telcel. Telesel and Claro are the young Canadian jersey sponsors. The Claro logo can be found on Fernandez's jersey, mostly on the right upper corner and across the front. Birchbox. It is an online beauty subscription service based in New York City. Birchbox worked out an endorsement deal with Fernandez. They asked her to be an ambassador to help promote their products to a wider audience. Fernandez uses her social media accounts to promote Birchbox's various skincare products, perfumes, organic products, and other cosmetic items. Microsure. Microsure is a 15-year-old pharmaceutical firm based in Illinois that creates antimicrobial products. Fernandez signed a contract with Microsure in 2021, and she promotes the company's products on her social media platforms. USANA In early 2021, the nutritional dietary supplement and skincare manufacturing firm USANA Health Sciences announced a partnership with Fernandez, and Fernandez promotes numerous USANA items through her social media accounts as part of her deal. Playing Style Fernandez has demonstrated dominance in both hard courts and clay courts in her brief career. She hasn't been able to recreate her performances on grass, but by seeing her potential, it won't be long until she does that too. She is more of a baseliner and rarely goes for serve and volley because her volley needs some work. Being a left-handed player, it provides her an edge, which she makes full use of. Fernandez has been recognized for not allowing her short height to be a disadvantage to her success. She has been seen taking the ball early and shifting directions with forehand crosses, which she complements with a strong backhand as well. She can quickly go from offense to defense, although she loves to stay on offense most of the time. She has proven that she does not crack under pressure and that she is capable of winning a tight three set as well. Layla's most powerful weapon is her forehand. She is a strong hitter with exceptional precision in her flat ground strokes making her one of the best forehand players on the WTA Tour. Because she is just in her second full season as a pro on the Tour, she is expected to sharpen her abilities and enhance her forehand with more experience. Fernandez's backhand is just as strong as her forehand. Her backhand is quite accurate and is frequently seen to benefit her since she uses it to perfection. Her backhand down the line has frequently earned her a fair number of points and has proven to be a critical stroke during long rallies. Her service isn't as strong as her other strokes, but her first serve is better than her second. Her serve speed is normally between 90 and 100 miles per hour. Even though she is not the fastest server on the tour, she still maintains at least a 50% success rate on her serves. And that's all for today, guys. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. And thank you for watching.